What's up guys, Justin here with the sketchupessentials.com. So quick video today. I found a really awesome extension that I didn't realize was a thing that I wanted to share with you. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you're anything like me and uh, maybe you're not, but at some point or another, you might've found yourself on the engineering toolbox website. Um, it's basically a site that contains a ton of information about like structural shapes, other things like that. Specifically in this case, I'm talking about steel shapes, but it's got all the different uh, depths and widths and other things like that associated with different steel shapes listed on this website. So I've used it a ton for estimating type things, that kind of thing. What I did not realize is that the engineering toolbox actually has a SketchUp extension. So if you go into the SketchUp extension warehouse and you go to engineering tool toolbox, and you click on the option for engineering toolbox, you can actually install an extension right here that gives you access to all of the different uh, components that are contained inside of their warehouse. Now note that this is not listed as being compatible with anything after version 2019. I installed it and um, the first time I installed it, it crashed, but then I reopened up SketchUp and it worked just fine. So sometimes that initial setup um, is something where you just have to reopen SketchUp, but it is working on 2022 at least for me. Um, so just something to be aware of. It's not officially compatible with SketchUp 2022, but what it does is it adds in a window where you can click on your extensions and go to engineering toolbox. And when you do that, it basically pops up the engineering toolbox website, right? So um, it's sketchup.engineeringtoolbox.com in this case. But what it does is it gives you access to all of these different shapes down below. So if I scroll down, for example, and let's say that I wanted to bring in like a wide flange steel beam. And so you can click in here and it's going to show you all these different kinds of steel beams. And usually I end up going into the W shapes, but there's other shapes that you might use as well. So I beams, other things like that. But if we go into the W shapes, for example, it's going to give us a big long list down below of different steel shapes. So notice how down below we've got options in here for everything up to a 44 by 335, which uh, seems pretty heavy by the way. But let's say we wanted to bring in maybe like a 16 by 40. Well, there's a button here called insert. And what that's going to do is that's going to drop in a W 16 by 40 right here. And so this is actually sized correctly so that you can actually use this inside of SketchUp. And so what I've done, because this actually comes in as a beam and I don't necessarily want this to be a beam. What I actually do is I come in here and I delete everything but the profile that's down below right here. And so that actually brings that in as an accurate steel profile that then I could bring in and actually like extrude into whatever size that I want. And it's actually kind of nice. It doesn't bring these in as components, which I think is good in this one particular case because a lot of the time I'm going to be extruding this to different lengths, other things like that. So the other thing that I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll use the label button for text. And I'll just click on this. We'll notice how it'll label it automatically with the group name, right? So what I can do is I can place all my steel shapes over here. So let's say I wanted another one, right? Let's say we wanted that massive um, 44 by 335. So I'm gonna click on this to insert it. And then we're gonna go take a look at it. And so if I was to double click in here, I would do the same thing, right? I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna add a note right here, but now I have both of those steel shapes in here ready for me to work with structural steel inside of SketchUp. Now, one other thing to note is this is not limited to just I-beams. So you've got a ton of different other things in here as well. So you've got pipe crosses and flanges. Um, you've got different stairs and ladders, as well as I use the C channels and the angles as well. So there's just a huge library of different things that you can bring in directly to SketchUp that's all been modeled um, accurately. So if you wanna work with any of these flanges or anything like that, again, you would just click on the same thing. They're gonna have a table. And you can just pick one and insert it just like this. So I have no clue how I didn't know about this before, but this is a really cool function if you do anything with structural shapes inside of SketchUp. But leave a comment below, let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.